five seconds remaining. Good afternoon and welcome back to the DPL for this best of two game two right now between E Home versus IG Vitality. And if you guys are not sure what the score is right now, you can see it right here above these team names. IG Vitality took game one. IGV's turn to it seemed kind of close, but from the net worth wise and how farmed the miracle was, and perfect game 8 0 and 4. Outstanding stuff. They just took over game one in great fashion. Like the only thing Dyer E Home was doing to keep up in the game was split push, the push. There was, they had few key moments of farm, you know, like few, few, few key moments of fighting that looked like they could have turned things around. And I was pretty impressed, like, there was that one top lane fight as well. Where they just picked IG Vitality, Vitality apart, like, one at a time. And it was so split up, they couldn't do anything. But IG Vitality just knew how to Five respond each remaining. and every single time. Alright, so... I'd like to thank you all for tuning in. Hope you guys are having a pretty good time. All 1,332 of you. 1, 3, 2, 2. So, of course... Here we are in this game too. I'm I'm hoping to see maybe a bit of a switch up from E Home. I would like to see that they take this game. Unfortunately, there is no game three. But okay, Rubik Puck Ten ET. It's good to see that Rubik pick comes up because you know Rubik he's been seen five as that very remaining. consistent five for a while. Chinese teams just constantly picking up the Shadow Shaman. That hero, of course, has kind of fallen off a bit. We look at the IGV heroes, if you look at it, it almost feels like they're banning out Faith Behind heroes to a certain extent, right? It's like Enchantress ban, Dark Willow ban, Tiny ban. I mean, I'm not surprised at the Death Prophet thing, because Chinese teams, they they favor the Death Prophet quite a fair bit. Safely Nodi is also pretty strong. In fact, it's a Ying hot favorite, CTY favorite as well. Dire team pick. And these are the heroes which are generally just favored in the matchup. So it's good that you actually pick up the, the Bat Rider. So this is almost like IGV's way of saying, hey, let me teach you how to play Bat Rider. So two winged heroes. Ten Mr. Carter, as well, credit to him. He was ready to like almost even Five suffer. Seconds remaining. Zero and three, but still managed to catch up. You know, obviously a Shadow Fiend will up farm a Queen of Pain. But it's still a very strong support duo coming out here from E Home. You know, ET is that hero which you can trade hits. So you don't want to trade hits with. He's so tanky, natural order. But what else? Like, let's see. I mean, the puck can also always just go into the off lane, right? Hmm. Surprisingly, we haven't seen any more things. Turn to Weaver. Weaver, Weaver, Weaver. Let's see. Is this a good fighting hero? Ten seconds remaining. Yeah, I think it is. Like the Weaver is a good hero, which you can. Five some teams remaining. in very niche. Situations, right? You put the Weaver into Dire the off lane. And the Weaver, he can always go into the safe. It's very unlikely it's going to be like that VP. You know, remember that pause for Weaver? Like, just roam around, throw the swarm, chase heroes down, and right click them down with a Blightstone, and you just die. But you don't see that anymore. I like the Beastmaster ban. Remaining. It's a good instant counter to the Bat Rider in a sense because of the Hawk's vision. Five if you're quick enough, you get the remaining. roar. Team pick. This is scary. But getting Sakata the Viper straight up, that's it's interesting. So they take out the void, they understand that what IGV lacks right now is team fight. Ten seconds remaining. Not even surprised if a hero say like a gyrocopter Five comes out. Remaining. It is that hero which does scales quite nicely into late game. It helps you fight mid game. Synergizes extremely well with the bat, right? You know, last so into a call down or even the rocket barrage. E home side, I, I like how, you know, the heroes, they understand that IG Vitality have a lack of reliable disables right now besides the Rubik telekinesis. So Puck jumps in. How do you follow up? That's the question. How do you follow up? Maybe just keep him there in place for a nice ET alt. Yeah, um, there's a bit of a bug of the ticket, so 
Unfortunately, we're going to be casting in 2016. Could be. You know, you guys might be thinking this is a rerun. No, I assure you guys, this is live. So the Brewmaster with the final pick coming out. It will be the Puck mid, Weaver safe, and the Brewmaster. So E Home standing by their game plan. They want to just like just keep fighting, you know, in the mid game. Just keep fighting, Ten fighting, seconds fighting. Seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. So good, man. But okay, yeah. I hopefully I'll get a co-caster co later on. After this, the next series after this, which should have been Keen Gaming versus IG. Unfortunately, they can only play tomorrow. So that series will be skipped. And the third series of the day, which will be the second on the stream, is going to be E Home versus Max. And final BO2 will be CDEC versus Keen Gaming. Like between Keen Gaming and E Home, you know, when they kind of swapped around their players with Old Chicken for Ying. What I found pretty nice about it was that you have a bit of a balance, right? You have young talent coming in to pretty much complement the rest of the young team. It's, it is possible that Old Chicken wasn't on the same page. And then you think about how he goes over to the Keen Gaming side. These guys are all very young. He's the most experienced player because of his age and of course, you know, being the TI and all. It's a good balance. So this way his experience can be very valuable. But woo, the miracle anti-mage. Wow, okay, I, I did not see that coming. Oh, is he, it's gonna be Sakata playing on the anti-mage. Miracle's playing the mid viper. Wait, hold on. No, wait, 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 hold on. It still could be a miracle of safe safe lane because the viper does extremely well against Faith Bien, the Brewmaster, so it means that your drunken brawlers it's very hard and Vi Viper's a Wayne Liner. So way lane winner. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm Ming Ri English, I know. But Sakata going mid as well against the puck. That's that's good. Like when you get one or two points up into your spell shield. You know, those nukes don't hurt that much. You just get some nice regen up. I mean they can Ten do that. They can to remaining. they can totally pull that off. Or in the occasion that they want to put them into an aggro tri lane, it's not the worst as well. But not vile I would say it's yeah, it's not advantageous against an ET who he just sends his spirit through all, gets it back, right clicks supports down. Yeah, but I would like to see Sakata going with an anti mage mid. Alright, alright. So I hope you guys are ready. And actually, they will swap things around. It will be Sakata going on to the mid viper. Miracle playing on the anti mage. Alright, so there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Game 2. Oops. Let's wait for the blackness, the darkness to leave. Because the darkness doesn't last forever. So we're gonna have a bit of a potty break for the players. I mean, let's be fair, right, guys? You know, teams and players, Beast players are human bomb. too. You wanna let them have a bit Beast of a potty bomb. break. Smoke break. Okay, why would I be saying that this is... Okay, even if this was a VOD, why would I talk about it like this is 2018? What kind of, like, what kind of super wow kind of brain would I have to, like, cast 2016 VOD and say 2018? That's like equivalent of me Saying this right now, say, oh, this is the 2020 VOD. Now think about it. There is no, <laughs> there, there is no gain to be saying that this is 2018 in a rerun, in the year 2016. But yeah, so Miracle Anti Mage. Or how some, I believe some casters at GSC, they, they don't, they don't call it Miracle. They call it a Miracle. Because it's M-E. I think that was Ken, Hotbit. But there we go. Alright, introducing the teams and the players right now. On the Radiant side, IGV, you have Sakata playing on the Viper. Then the Radiant side again. In July, on the Batrider, you have Dogfights on the Tuscar. Miracle playing on this anti mage is super... On the Disruptor. For the Dire side, E-Home, HYM on the Elder Titan, Faith Bien. On your Brewmaster, Ying playing on the Puck. You will have Y Innocence on the Rubik, and you will have CTY playing on the Weaver. This is a hero I have seen him succeed on before. 
Hopefully we'll see this again. Beast bump. Right, so getting that work down. Happy to let in July suffer a bit. Or maybe if you think about it, it's not exactly suffering, right? Because when you in this solo lane matchup, even when you have like two heroes in this bottom lane, this will block one camp, but you can pretty much stack neutrals, clear it out yourself. You have slightly easier access to clearing this camp and this camp together. As well as this battle. camp with the Firefly. All you need is levels. What I do fear for, however, is that E Home will pressure and hard enough, and IG Vitality will not have enough space for Miracle to farm. Yep, fist bump to all of you in the chat, and I am Hades all the way from Singapore. Hope you guys are enjoying the cast so far here on the Beyond the Summit 2 channel. IGV versus E Home Game 2. And we shall go with basically two bounty units a piece. Actually, no, it's gonna be three. No, not two for one. Okay, yeah. Sorry, I, I'm not Big Shack. I do not have the quick maps. But Puck against a Viper. Yeah, that's a matchup, like. No matter what hero you are, going up against a Viper, even with this new Viper, you know, you're not exactly... Yeah, you're not exactly looking forward to that. Hello, 1SH4N. Thank you for tuning in. So, alright, alrighty, righty, right, right, right. And dogfights... Yo, we can actually run into an aggro trilane of their own with Faith Band coming up to two supports. And if you're confident enough to put CTY to lane solo against... In July? Okay, not solo. HYM's here. What am I saying? Oh, what, what's wrong with my eyes? Holy cow. Okay, so... CSY is a miracle. He's gonna be alright. If you get the shots out, do they want to go into the Rubik? Looks like no. Miracle will trust the support. Hold on. Might even think we're going for the blink first. Blood going to super. Oh, Miracle's like, no, give me first blood. But never mind. That's a very good start as it is. And middle lane, Viper 6 and 0 to the 4 1. Mr. Carter's like, yeah, you know. I had a rough start as an SF, but now as a Viper, it's gonna be different. Hey, these superior right clicks. Mr. Carter actually getting zoned out of lane by the puck. And if anything, I said that Ying was a very talented pop star, a very talented player. This guy is definitely top 10 inch perfect world. Looking for the stomp. Oh, it connects. Wait, what? Or coming in, you need one more rack if he goes all the way hand balls deep behind the tier one. And he's gonna be okay. Meanwhile, top. Okay, he goes mana cross out. Brewmaster, no mana, but he will use his rod and spank it a miracle. Miracle. Getting trauma of the Asian dad, Asian discipline, and he's actually no, he's gonna turn this around. Faith Pian getting glimpsed back by Super. And alright, they find that kill. Miracle. Takes the blink out. Has the south, he's gonna be okay. So now we're bringing both supports up here. CTY will be in a true one-on-one -on -one matchup. 6-1 to the 7-1, but because his support was here for sharing the EXP, in July has the slight level advantage. And oh, the double damage ball. He doesn't really care about curves to skin when you have, you know, face shield. But a HYM looking for the backstab. Miracle still doing okay in this top lane. 11 and 0. Has one assist as well. So far, pretty even doubt. Looking for the Tusk to be looking to making more plays again. He has found HYM. So both Paul's Forge is kind of trading hits a bit. Miracle just picking up that level 3. He should be thinking about the spell shield, but the middle lane. Oh, bit of a trade. That's Ying getting that one kill. Titors. Yeah, Sakata having a rough time. This is very unusual like because most games... If IGV, when Flyby was playing with IGV, all the games I've casted so far, Sakata usually wins the lane. And it's very unusual to see him lose the lane. Like, this is a once, 1 out of 10 situation thing. But in this case, when you're playing against Ng, who... Yeah, I feel like he's the new upcoming Radiance talent for e that's for sure. Under so 14 and 2. But these Vipers are trading evenly in CS, right? He's 15 and 3. But that one death will set him behind just a fair bit as the puck is level 4.5 right now. Probably thinking about picking up a hood. Nice. 
So a bit of things were quiet and down for a bit. Two for two and four minutes in. Super picking up both bounty runes. Feels bad, man. When you know when bounty runes don't give you exp anymore. That was the hardest thing I felt about pause four. Is like it made the pause four difficulty slightly harder. It just means that your ganks have to have to work out. Of course, there's going to be a bit of exp distribution around as well, which probably won't make you that happy. Nice double easy camp stack. Tis not for Looks like they want they were thinking about trying to pressure in July here. But with the three heroes in the top lane, you might see a forced TP. Breaking the trees, they'll get the glimpse onto Faith the end. He will get the thunderclap out into three, but the right click him down to the lift. Gonna stun up only one hero. They have the snowball. Will they go for it? I don't think so. The creepers are gonna die, so they won't go for this. So plenty of region. The one's gonna be doing so much work this game. I feel. Warrior. Oh, he actually. There's just water and smoke. I would have thought you wanted a wand at least on your brewmaster, considering you're going into an aggro trial. Hey, try I'm just stealing that creeper. That was the firefly being used already. It's on cooldown. Cty actually coming out on top in this lane just barely. 24, 25 and five now. Ying, whoa, the stomp, but Sakata, that poison's gonna be enough. Yeah, so this is a bit of a comeback now for the Viper, 26 and 6. He's tying even with the CSYs. Over in the top, Miracle still trying his best to farm the creep up. A gift from the battle. He's gonna sustain for sure with a ring of health, magic one, he's fine. Oh, this could be a big kill. If they can kill the puck, just force him to get. They're waiting for him to use the orb. Like, you see what Sakata is doing? He's gonna bait them out. He's gonna move a bit closer. Once he forces out the orb, that's when they go. Yep, there we go. Now that they've used it, they want to. They want to try for this. The snowballs come in as well. He has to face it. The coil is gonna be used onto two. They have the shot. It will block up Ying. Do they have enough damage? In July, getting the solo kill on the bottom lane onto Cty. Does he actually get out the poison? Will kill him off, and that's. A big kill because he just TP'd in, yes, into the lane. Yes. And that's gonna mean that Sakata gets a lot of space. Angelai getting that kill onto CTY even bigger. Now he's that much closer to his blink dagger. 1.2k gold already, halfway there. Super. Oh dear, all those neutral creeps, all that damage. The kinetic field pushing them back. Very Radiant nice bit of sneaky play there. Is able attack. to dodge. Uh, avoid giving away one death. Yeah, I think if you're a miracle, you contemplate switching lanes with CT. Yeah, with the Batrider. rider. Doesn't have a lasso anymore, but it looks like they're holding it. Oh, hello, hello, my friend. It is a surprise. Let's cook the bear. And this is why you do not drink during the match. But that brings back. They found Faith Bian, but the stomp in the nick of time from HYM. Triple stomp, and it's gonna be good. Miracle TPing straight to the bottom lane, and they will go for the trade. He is very far behind CS compared to the Weaver. The Faith PN will almost have that level 6. Gion Super Vita. Yeah, it's just not a Weaver. Why would I say that in 2016? Unless I was psychic. <laughs> But okay, 5-2, to two, and IGV still maintain a slight advantage in the kill score, but it's going back and forth, back and forth in July. But think about going for a lasso here on Faith Yen, he will use it. Super, of course, level 4, level 1 Thunder Strike only, they're gonna try and burn Faith Yen down with the Flame Break, they're gonna chase him down, of course, with the Nade Palm Stacks. Comes back, burn the bear, he's gonna pop the Primal Split in the nick of time! And he's gonna turn this around with the Bad Rider. Ying has TP'd in. We get the silence, and Bad Rider is probably dead. Disrupted TPing out, ditching his teammate. Sorry, sir. My core is dead. And good usage of the primal split. And he got away on how much HP? I wanna see how much HP he got away on. Woo, 90 HP. If I go in the middle lane, as uh, HY, I'm just gonna try to reach up some of that solo EXP. Miracle now needs to play catch up. 
Get the side pull. So why in a sense just denying Miracle more CS? But with that rotation coming out from the pocket, it means that Sakata gets some very good move on. Shred's already complete, very tanky, has a raindrop as well. Not the easiest here to gank at the moment. He does get the poison strikes out though. Thing of Faith Bien. Miracle will resort to jungling a fair bit, realizes that hey, this bottom lane is not safe. He can't really even stay there alone. Super, he's found HYM, putting a word down, looking for the storm. And alright, disruptor. Is he dead? I don't think so. Yeah, I think right now you just you just farm. Do your best to farm up the camp. Distribute the EXP. There's no need to take any risk. You're not on the clock. But Ying having solo lane against Tusk. Has the orb, has the lasso and everything. Fairy fire even gonna be used. In July. Now he has a blink dagger. That's really big for this bat rider. He's 62 and 4. Net worth is catching on TTY who had a solo low lane. So he's now 4.6k in the net worth. Getting a lift back just to push him off. Now the TP's coming in, they have the last one, they get the glimpse back, they're going straight for Faith Bian, they want to shit on the bear and they will probably get the kill here. Doesn't have enough mana for the Primal Spit, still on cooldown, Sakata getting spanked right down, but now the lasso comes out onto Faith Bian, coil on two, the snowball play, trying to go into the supports, but CTY is going straight for the Viper, they understand that he is the bigger kill, going into the strength shed, pops the one, going to CTY as well, but in July, getting quite a lot of damage out, he still has the time lapse up on CTY, he's going to be okay I think. Yep, he's gonna be okay, but they do get two kills. HYM and the Brewmaster Dyer's both going down in that engagement. The debut at the Blink Dagger, huge success, I would say, for in July. As he hits his way to us a shrine. So while all of that was happening, space created for Miracle as it's much needed. Going to hike and hike. We'll go for another smoke gank, this time with Dark Rides and Super. You see HYM top lane, not the biggest kill, but a kill is a kill nonetheless if you are smoked up. They just need a bit of vision. The smoke is broken. I'm pretty sure they know. So they will push out the wave. HYM, he's going to run all the way into north right now. Blinking forward to get the glimpse back. They found him with the snowball. That's one dead ET if I've ever seen one. 8 to 3. A miracle, still trying to farm up that wonderful battle fury. You know, region win picked up for Puck. Ying really likes that veil of Discord. They will go for a smoke play. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Dyer are scanning. Meanwhile, CTY getting the bottom tier one tower. And the only hero who's able to keep it on farm so far is this bat rider, but he's done quite a fair bit. Radiance if you think about the farm, priority and the amount done in this Radiance game, Injali is definitely fallen. number one at the moment. Looking for one, yep, I think they found him, they found Faith Band. Do they have the Static Storm? Yes they do, trapping him inside. Will he die in this line? We need to burn him down. Faith Band, he should be able to get out. Pops the primal split in the nick of time. They will go for the turnaround. They coil on two. But hiding is at the trees. It's the bad rider. Ying getting the silence up just barely. Cyclones one up into the air. It will be Sakata. They get the nice box out as well. Viper using the strides. He's trying to save his teammates. Will not be able to. But he's going to try and stand his ground and fight this. Will he be able to do so? Trying to get CTY. Roar's punch into the air. Do they have enough damage? Sakata will end up going down. Poison. Oh no, he actually gets out. And Ying finding himself another one in July. The rest of E-Home diving behind the tier 1s and nothing they can do. They, they just need to create space for Miracle. And hopes that, you know, that he gets fed enough. With that battle free and try to turn things around with the split push. CTY, what's his next item? I see something in the courier. It's going to be a diffusal bit complete. Not enough damage. Faith Band being very tanky there. All those one charges as well. Alright, let's see where this goes. 8 to 5. We have the last up in 25 seconds. Whoa, the smoke. This ward. 
now they're gonna go sneak inside and see where they go. They have the tier one Surprise. tower there, so not exactly the biggest thing. Grill? Going good. Oh, they've caught the Rubik. It comes back. Do they want to commit for this? I don't think so. They have to pump the, the coil is up. The build is going to be used. And ouch! Super dead. That's all that was. In July, now I'm going to burn out the ancients, farm things up. The game plan is to slow things down enough. You're okay as long as your tier 1 is still standing, Radiance mid tier 1. This is the tower that Ehome wants, so that they can invade the jungle and make good use of these deep wards that they have placed. Top lane as well, forcing some heroes top, CT wipe, diffuse already complete. Level 13, he is super farm. And he's 1-1-0, one, one, and zero, 99 CS. Alright, Innocence, level 8, just boots and a tango. Very poor, but not as poor as poor silly disruptor who's at 1,000 gold. Can they find CTY? Time lapses out. If they have the vision, they could have probably tried for a kill. They have the Static Storm. Combo Split's gonna be used. The Swarm as well gonna be thrown out. It's just really the play. They get the stun out, cycle it up into the air, will be the Tuscar. No real way to catch in July. And Dogfights will be sent back down. It's a Primal Split wasted. They're thinking about going back in. If they have the vision, they could find CTY. They have the glimpse available as well. They just need to hero that. They will find one. It will be Faith again. Blinks out in the nick of time, but there comes the snowball. They have the shots as well. Chopping up his right No, but the flame break pushing him to safety. Oh, it could have been two. But you content yourself with getting a Boom Master kill. Sakata will push out the middle lane. This 8% spell life steal is actually quite scary. Dyer's so using the scan, Miracle's out of there in a heart. 900 more gold to getting that Battle Fury. Oh, and in July, they find Ying. That's a big key kill. Sorry about that. And yeah, so in July, after getting that big kill, they would take a tier 1 tower. This enables IG Vitality. It's the first tier 1, but the mid tier 1s are always the most Dyer's valuable towers. So that you can always invade each other's jungles. You know, Miracle sieging away into the top tier 1. This is going to boost him so much quicker to that battle field. And it's going to accelerate his farm. Misses the tower last hit, but it's okay. Sakata now going to hold his ground against CTY. CTY might be able to get a solo kill here. Time lapses out. Super looking for him. They have the snowball play. The disruption is going to be. Glimpse is going to be there. And looks like they found CTY. No ultimate spot. So he's going to try for the kill. Hold his ground, but Sakata. Dogfights and Super. Well claim that one. Under the tier 2 tower. But meanwhile, top lane they found in July giving him a bit of boost. He obviously doesn't drink. Why in a sense? Had an invis rune. Telekinesis gonna be there, throwing him back. Stop is there as well. In July goes down. No time to even pop those 17 one charges. I doubt it would have made a difference anyways. Where his farm will start to exponentially increase. Just blinked out. Oh, if he was there for like half a second more, they would have probably gone in. But it looks like they will find him anyways. He just blinked into three heroes. Miracle, miracle, miracle. Oh. It was the moment he blinked in, I can tell you what was going on through his mind. He's like, oh. Radiance top beep. You know, all, every single Valkyrie did, that you could have thought of went through his mind. CTY is going to hold his ground. Doesn't know that there's support there. But he's gonna go try to go for the kill. Oh, hold on, here comes Ying with the rotation as well. Diffuser purge onto the Viper. He says, leave me to die. Snowball save from Dogfight. They will try for the return kill here. The coil's gonna be there. Warriors punch. The Sakata's already dead. Oh no, the lift from Y canceling the TP and e -home find themselves two key pickoffs. After a third. And things are slowly falling apart for IG Vitality. As e -home go around the map creating all this space. Blink Dagger and Ying, that was the debut of the Dagger, I believe. <laughs> I like somehow if you're just getting jibbated at how you think this is Liquid Miracle. No, playing down the Static Storm, Super might end up dying here, the Purge out. Blink for- oh, wait, who is the Blink? Oh, oh he stole- 
still static stone. Now the lasso of Batman is gonna try and hold his crown, trying to fight Bun down face the end. Almost ticks him down. Miracle still pushing out the top lane. That is the game plan, but are they just TPing one by one? Put one ward down, they will know that the Viper's there. And that would be the tier one for sure to follow this time. No way to engage. Oh, he gets the lift! Bonk! And Super did all the four staff for the Viper. Coil on two. Yeah, I think if you're the Viper, you're like, I should not have saved you. I should not have saved my support. The Static Storm being thrown out. Sakata goes down as well. And this train just went E Holmes' way. Is Miracle still pushing up the top lane? And in July, might get caught out here, finds HYM. He might even think about burning him down. Shooting it out. Going to cancel his blink. Defensive play. But you know, if you're CTY, you're like, all right, friends. He wants to feed Hedwig. I'm getting Harry Potter flashbacks all over again. In July, gonna get hunted down, and down goes Hedwig. No! Fireball dump right there. Miracle still trying to farm up. Will he be the boy who saved his team here? They've created a ton of space. He's actually caught up now to the top of the net worth on his team. EXP being split up. Wouldn't say no to a solo crest. Faith Bian and why Innocence, they have found these heroes. But I'm pretty sure with this ward, they know that Miracle is not, al not alone. They're still waiting for it. Just leeching off a bit of that EXP. And you can hear the Rubik enable as well, his no just toggle his null field. And CTY Meal, 10k net worth right here, 20 minutes in. Six stuff, almost level 18. And they will try here. Do they have the lasso though? They don't have- Oh, they don't have the bat rider. Can they catch him? The dust, glimpse back, static storm. Oh, they found the weaver. They need to pop everything. I need to throw everything. And will they find it? Yes, they will. Dominating streak going the way to Sakata and they get that kill. So Faith and Y in a sense, they will smoke up looking to find Miracle. Not sure if they can. And not an easy kill by any means, especially with just these two heroes. But they will try. They will try. Going in right now for Miracle. The static stolen static storm! We need to lift him up. Oh wow, they actually could. Wow. And Sakata in the bottom lane will find HYM. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Good Attack stuff. From the tempest of Radiant structures are fortified. Radiant's top right, tower so Miracle is under attack. Feels like a BKB game. Radiant's almost. top tower. They have so much nuke damage. And Lincoln's almost complete for CTY. It's a big item, especially against a bad rider. You always want that. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. And that should be the tier 1 tower, going the way of IGV, but the TPs are coming in, they want to try and fight this, they have the primal split. Oh, the poison's gonna be there, so it's gonna cancel his blink just for a bit, but not the blink port from Y. Who needs a blink dagger when you have anti this blink? Now the lasso coming out, they go for the turnaround, they want to kill the Rubik off. Soma bugs flying out, throwing one to two heroes. It's not gonna land into anything, Warriors punch, will they kill the Rubik first? It's just support, Zakata should end up going down. So it's going to be a one-for-one -one trade, make it a two-point as dogfights goes down. And e are looking for more blood. Miracle's still farming away. This is what you call trust in your team. Like when you play anti-mage, this is what you have to do. You have to trust that they have four heroes that on your team which can fight for you. And with that, e -home, They will look to try and pressure this tier 2. Can they take it? They should be able to. And in July, almost on a US scepter. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. All right, so Faithian puts the observer ward down, and tier two tower more map control going the way of E home as they have a four thousand gold advantage. Radiance Across the puck, he's lurking has around, has a Lincoln's as well. Radiance Not the easiest hero to catch is already as it as it is with the IG vitality draft. When you add a Lincoln's on top of that, he's going to be near impossible to just lock down. They found one. He's a dead one. Primal Split gonna be used. They found two. They found three. 
Cycling up into the air, do they get the stomp? Actually missed timing it, laying out the poison, but it looks like in July will get the shredded and hot. CTY on a killing spree. Right now going, alright, you can take that dominating streak, I don't actually care, go ahead. Miracle still farming away, here comes Y, playing out a fade ball just to mess around with Miracle. Tis mine. So we're just waiting on this. Could pick up his ultimate orb. Just saving for buyback in case. But look at, at these wards coming out from E home. They're gonna know, like. This is some FBI stuff right here, man. He's like, alright. You wanna leave your base? We will know when and where. I mean then again they do do that in China. I like I remember when uh, I first moved to China. Like moving to like this house, some, like the new compound. We, we didn't get the keys yet, but the door is open, you know, we just walked in. And for some reason, a guard was just, like, we were talking and stuff, but the guard inside, he seemed to know what we were talking about. And he's like, yeah, you can't say that in China. And I'm like, what? Yeah, they, apparently the house is bugged, but we didn't know where. But, yeah, that's creepy. I know. But, okay, I mean, back into this game, a home with a 7,000 gold advantage. These guys, yeah, they have... Very, very comfortable right now with the way this game is going. Of course, looking to try and fight around this Roche pit. They have the Vladimir's offering. Do they think about fighting into the pit? Swamp's gonna fly. Oh, why? He's caught super one more time, Vivian. Wow, with the failed that damage. Super just. He's just super dead this entire game. He's. Too, considering he hasn't really fed that much, but 2.8, that's, that's rough. Why in a sense, double blink, initiation range, it's like Super Saiyan mode on. And Sakata playing on this Viper, trying to build into an Orchid, doesn't exactly have the most damage right now. It honestly feels like you do need some BKBs. Bat is going to try and cut the wave. They, they need to pull some... <laughs> you, you really need to trust your team right now and somehow hope that they pull some Team Liquid or TI3 alliance that will farm. But Miracle Mino bottom lane just gets whacked. Dominating streak for CTY. And he has the Aegis as well. Not the easiest thing to farm as an anti mage. Needs a bit of lessons from burning, it seems, and how to play anti mage. I mean, you're obviously feeling the stress, right? Like, but six left. Apparently, all you needed was a puck. And an ET to solo, uh, not say solo, but to kill an anti mage. That's worrying. A prize. And in July, almost completing his Yule Scepter. A home. He's circling around the area where in July was. They have the double blinks if they can only find it, but oh, he's been flanked in July. See you in July. And Sakata basically now in the bottom lane. CTY won't try for any solo kills. Picks up a Desolator as well. And they know that the two very tasty heroes, CTY might even think about going for that kill. Ooh, friend! Friend! Bye, friend! And Super is dead one more time. This ward. They get the glimpse back. They found one hero. They found the Tuscar. Doesn't have a TP as well. Oh, the Shark Block. Wow. And CTY with an unstoppable streak. The CTY Weaver doing a ton of work claiming all these kills. Of course, why in a sense he's had a game. He's had one heck of a game. But Sakata, oh, they found the Viper. Lift up into the air. What did they steal? As the connect feel. You know, top tier 2 does go down to get the glimpse back as well. Viper, Viper, Viper. Where are you running? Oh, the force step out. And of course, with the Deso damage, it will be more than enough. CTY gets himself another kill. Just casually walking through the map from all the way here, getting one, over here getting two, and over here getting three. And Miracle is on the clock. Still doesn't feel like he needs a BKB, apparently. Top in July. Like I said, see you in July. And Miracle just keeping out, sorry, blinking out. There's nowhere for him to farm. There's just no more towers left, no other towers, no map control, there's no vision. IG Vitality are playing blind.
an e home. They have a tiny bit of duration left on that Aegis. So they will try to get a bit of pressure here on this mid tier 3 tower. And with this Deso, they take it so quickly as well. The fortification will be forced out. Miracle, gonna try and cut the wave. Should be looking to cut the wave. Yep, he's gonna cut the wave. Remember, as timings, you always know where the creep wave should be at. So they will get the tier 3 tower nonetheless. If they try for more, perhaps the range racks. Now they should be able to take the meteor racks here. Sigil gonna fall. Nice bit of chuckle gold. But they back off. Miracle is still cutting the wave, buying his team a bit more space, a bit more time. I mean, in Singapore, we, a lot of players, including myself, I'm not playing, but I mean, a lot of people in the community, including myself, have a lot of respect for, you know, Radiant's Miracle. Bottom shrine is under attack. Questionable, but he is, you know, one of those very talented players who comes up with all these very, very interesting, like, ideas. Radiant's bottom shrine has fallen. But this is going to be good. Right now, taking up the shrine, and they will push towards the tier 3 bottom lane. Why Innocence having one hell of a Rubik game, 6.4k net worth, but plus 5 is not too shabby at all. And IGV will look to try and get at least one lane in their favor. If they can only open up this tier 2 tower, it will make Miracle's gameplay so much easier in terms of forcing, you know, forcing e-home heroes back. Alright, so 14 to 26 is 16k. Let's take a look at items first, shall we? Like... Oops. Radiance yeah. middle barracks are under attack. Dyer's top tower. The Dagon from Ying, man. And they will commit to this melee rack. The Aegis just, just expired the moment he heard that he backed out. But trusting the cards. Cart? Oh, the puck. Radiance Timing it well. And he, they do get the melee racks, but against an anti mage, you have to know something is up. They will try to force the fight now. They need to cancel TPs, allowing Miracle space, but not being successful to do so. They will be forced to go back and try to delay this as far as they can. A golden Look at that, almost to a 20k gold lead. e and doing so well. And what will be CTY's next item? 4,600 gold. I mean, right now, I like I like to believe that with that gold, he probably wants to get a BKB, just go straight into high ground. That's going to help him out a lot. But they will smoke up and look to try and find themselves the pickups. They might even find the kills. Oh dear, they saw dogfights. Blinking all the way forward. They pop the primal spin. Static Storm is not going to be quick enough. And Super will end up dying here one more time. They cycle up into the air. They found in July. Goodbye, Hedwig. Down he goes. And immediately, IGV, they need to get the hell out of food. But dogfights will probably end up dying here. Miracle's going to blink all the way to the south. They want to try and catch him. He doesn't have a TP for 30 seconds. If they can just find him, the orb, they found Miracle, they're picking him out. He's gonna blink out. Oh, Miracle, Miracle, caught inside the trees. HY, HY's advice in 2018, not to go. And then July calls the GG, they've had it. 30 to 14, E home will get game two. It's gonna be a tire, so they will split the points between E home and IG Vitality. I, I gotta admit that was a that was an extremely anticlimactic game. I don't think they, I don't know they felt confident enough that they could do that. But okay, let's take a look at the damage done. Yeah, I mean, Weaver, this guy is having one hell of a game. Did the most amount of damage to that Viper. I mean, credit to Total Plus, right? We always need Total Plus for that. Thank you, Total Plus. But yeah, let's look at this graph. I mean, CTY having a great game. 13, 3, and 6. Just taking turns. Game 1 was 8 and 0 for Miracle. It was just so hard. But of course, you look at the, the difference between the supports, of course. You know, TI winner. TI winner power right there. Super having a very hard time. And this graph just went one way down. After the 20 minute mark. It was a very hard game. But yeah, so that's the conclusion of IG Vitality versus E Home. Our next game should have been Keen Gaming versus IG, but it looks like they're playing tomorrow. However, we will have E Home versus I'm no not IMAX. Oh my god, Max. 
in a couple of hours time to I believe one hour and a half from now unfortunately but I hope to see you guys later on for more DPL Dota on the Beyond the Summit 2 channel I'm Hades if you enjoyed the cast you can follow me at Hades Dota TV on Facebook or Twitter if you guys like the cast or any feedback from me I'll see you guys for you know more DPL Dota in a bit see you guys soon